Preview. A year ago, we launched a two and a half year strategic plan to basically transform um, the lower half or the lower two thirds of Building C and um, really define the space as a gift and home uh, market presentation. Uh, previously, we had four floors up in the building that were dedicated to gift, um, traditional gift product in a, a relatively narrow vertical. Um, through this expansion and the launch of four new floors here in Building C, including the one that we're on now, C1, um, we've been able to add um, a significant number of new resources, over 900 new gift lines and over 250 new home decor lines in just a year's time, which is a tremendously accelerated aggregation of resources and um, the industry is responding beautifully. Uh, we've been able to drive commensurate gains in attendance just as a result of having greater breadth and depth of product. Um, you know, we've added an exciting new categories. This floor in particular is a mixture of directional tabletop accessories and home product, um, which enables buyers to see kind of what's new, what's trending. Um, it's all design-led, some of it's artisanal, designer maker product. Um, and then the luxury tabletop presentation on this floor is entirely new to the West. Um, tabletop typically has been presented in Eastern marketplaces. So to have those resources here in a Western market is just thrilling for buyers west of the Mississippi. What is truly incredible is how quickly we've been able to really transform the marketplace and both current tenants and um, attending uh, buyers have commented on it being an entirely re-energized, revitalized, um, and incredibly expanded marketplace. So. Um, that excitement is really infectious. Right now, the two that are dominant are Atlanta and New York, and what we've been finding is that there's really no galvanizing show for the western half of the United States. So we were waiting for this, and Dorothy and her team have brought the most unbelievable level of strategy, insights, and innovation to the way a trade show can function. And I think for a lot of buyers too today, we're finding that getting to a trade show, the whole process of the logistics, the hotels, the travel can become so difficult. And Vegas offers not only ease, but turnkey solutions. And the way they're welcoming people in means that there's pretty much a guaranteed marketplace for us here. This is the first year that we added the market. And uh, I think it's a, it's a very interesting uh, presence for us. First of all, because we want to really be more active and more present uh, in this part of the USA. Uh, I think it's also very interesting because the attendees here are not only from the USA but also for Canada and uh, Latin America and both of those uh, places are very, very important for Alessi. The new Gift and Home uh, initiative that is being taken on is uh, very, very important for us because we really feel that we can be part of it and there is uh, uh, a need for uh, a different design like LS, a unique design like LS in an initiative like this. So far we've seen a lot of new customers which has been exciting for us. Um, not the same faces over and over but a lot of new customers. Uh, our expectations are you know, exactly that, that we're going to find people that haven't been traveling to the East Coast or Midwest find us at those shows. Our expectations are first that there will be a serious buzz within our industry, gifts and accessories. The bulk of the market knows who we are, but that's okay. To see us in a new venue is exciting for everybody. But I also think Las Vegas extends beyond that. I think this market center reaches sectors of the open market that the gifts and accessory industry don't always have direct access to. And that has to do with the decorator market, the access to hospitality, and the access to the world of corporate gifting, all of which are very much germane to the industry that we work in. We're meeting people we've never met before who don't make it a normal practice to come to Atlanta, to come to New York, and people who have really unique insights into the blending of decor and design consulting with the retail environment, and people who curate in a different way than, slightly different way than we see on the East Coast. And so already we're seeing that there's an infusion of a different type of viewpoint 
site on retail here. So that's really exciting. It means someone fresh and new will be interpreting Michael's work for the open marketplace.